Right, well, I've been mucking around with me setup for a little bit. I didn't want to bring you along for it because it was just taking ages. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, as many people will know if they come camp with us, and things have got to be right. So I've took my time in anyway doing this setup. I've enjoyed doing it because it's a different setup that I've done. And obviously I've done the plow. Uh, I have done it before for a day camp, but I haven't done it for sleeping in. Plus I've been mucking around with my chair, moving my chair, sorting the fire area out and uh, just getting things set like. So here it is in any rate. So what I've done is, the ridge line that I originally put from across the tree to tree didn't work. It was just too slack and too close to the fire. So all I've done is, I've got myself a pole here with a Y connection on the top. Elasticating it, I've got elastic around every loop on the tops. So I've just put that onto there and a guideline going down to this small tree here which will act as a washing line as well all right and then obviously i've set the plow up it's a little bit iggity biggity at the back end there but that's just a storage area and anyway for me burger and all my bits and pieces that i need to keep out my way and obviously everything's set out nicely it looks so pretty doesn't it it'll be messy as out by tea time but anyway i've got me other two liters of water there my two drinks for tonight, my first aid kit, my chest rig with loads of bits and pieces that I'm going to play with later on tonight, um, my main food and my frying pan, and then at the back again I've got um, my wash kit, my pee bottle, my jacket for tonight, a bag of odds and sods and guide ropes and things, and the camo bag is my electrics. Obviously I've got uh, the battery on charge, my radio on charge, and I've got my headphone uh, me torch to charge up as well and then I've got an array of tools and other bits and pieces that I need to use like fire kit and things down the bottom there so looking at the actual setup itself what I've done is just to give it an extra little bit of a wind barrier if the wind comes from the back and from that direction which it did last night so I've just put loads of leaves all the way around the bottom okay and then what I've done is just to give it a bit of pull out I've put a guide line coming from that tie off to the tree and then another tie off in the centre all the way back to that tree there and then I've done the same along here I've just got a couple of bits of leaves to put on the bottom corner here and then that's it all right and then obviously without walking into my guide line and then obviously I've got my little fire pit there I've just moved my chair around a little bit, all right, um, and that's it really. Stuff sat there ready to go. Still got loads of wood, but I'm gonna prep some more stuff and see what the day brings. I'm just out to enjoy myself and relax. I'm not out to build anything or do anything extravagant. I'm just going about my day, enjoying myself. Peace and quiet until tonight when I'll put my radio on. Right, I thought I'd bring these along. I'm just um, splitting this big vlog. I've, I started doing it, I didn't put the camera on. I thought I'd bring these along. So basically, what I've done is I've hit it as much as I can down there. Then I've got this bit of stick here, it's got a V on it. I've whacked that into place. Then I've put another little wedge a little bit further down. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna, I've already hit it here once, I'm just going to hit it there again, I'll try and hit it where it is, alright, and then I'm going to get this wedge in here again, and hopefully, yeah, that's it, split, obviously it's a bit punky inside, but it makes it easier for chopping up and cutting uh, for to make firewood with tonight. We'll just do the same process again on the flatter sides. Oh, just hide me thing away. I've got that there. But same again, let's put you in a better angle.
Just here again, obviously making sure the area is safe as it can be. Do one bit at a time. Oh. Bit of wood. Oh. oh, it's gonna just smash in anyway because it's it's pumped. And anyway, it's so. Just saves other people coming up and setting it a light. It just gives me extra fuel for tonight. This pump wood's quite, quite all right. It's again. Now we're like some of it's still a bit strong, some of it's not like Drift. Yeah. It's been sat there for absolutely months like and it was on the floor before I found it. So I'll just burn that the night and make a nice bit of fuel. Right, well, hi everybody. Um sorry I've not brought you back. Well it'll not be a long time for you, but it's been a long time for me. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. Um I've just been doing little things off camera, little projects. Um, I've got this bag here and this is now full of loads of processed um, silver birch which is this stuff and obviously when you take it off the trunk it's got a lot of this brown stuff on so I've just been getting my knife and it's all damp stuff and it's stuff that's no good and it doesn't help you let it dry out so I've just been on my little log in front of us sitting there enjoying myself and my own little world getting rid of all the the dampness off there so I've got some nice bits of birch bark to take home and what I'll do is I'll take them out of the bag and I'll put them on one of my shelves and let them dry out naturally and uh, they'll be good for my tinder box for when I come out next that's all I've been doing and I've just been munching really on some um, pepperoni sticks and chocolate bars and things uh, having a drink of water but I think I'm gonna uh, get myself a cup of tea because I'm feeling because I'm sitting around for a bit, I'm feeling a little bit uh, cold. So, but I've got, I think I've got more than enough wood for tonight. I've just got to get some little bits, probably process a couple of bits of wood down and make some feather sticks and things. And uh, see if we can get a proper bushcraft fire going the night instead of using them little coiled um, wax burner things. Right, well, I've decided it's two o'clock. I've made myself a nice hot brew. And I've made myself a bit of a soup. So basically in here, what we've got is some chicken noodles. And then some uh, tuna with mayonnaise and sweet corn. Yes, I know, but it tastes bloody lovely. And then I put some aromat in, I think it's called aromat. Just gives a, a bit of salts and things. All right, you can mix that in with all your foods and all that. And all I've done is, I've went and pinched one of all lasses, um Weight Watchers past them um, tuna meal thing because they're nice they're little and it's tuna and sweet corn and it goes in there lovely mm -mm. finger looking good let's have a taste just a little bit because it'll be scorchy or yep that's nice that it's warm oh i just spat a bit out it's nice it's warm and it's gonna um, give us a little boost with me cup of tea, and then I'm gonna get prepping a little tiny bit more wood. And I, uh, I need, I need, I didn't need any more wood, like, but I'm gonna do it because it's gonna warm us up. And then I'm gonna go and hunt for a bit of wood, so I can do a little bit of pro a little project later on when I'm sitting around the fire and uh, chilling out. And anyway, so that's it. So. <sighs> 
home for tonight. My wood prepping area. I put a, a very small pile of little wood. I need to get a lot more of that or actually process some wood and make little bits myself. And I've got all this wood here to burn with a lot of the punk wood at the back. Whatever doesn't get burnt out of the punk wood will just get scattered everywhere. Because we're getting idiots coming into the woods again and burning things. But aye, I've just seen a little, me little grey squirrel over there. I, I think there's one or two of them in here, like where there's one there's always another. I've just seen it scurrying around and that. So I've never seen any deers. I've seen a couple of deers when I walked in. But uh, yeah. When, we, when me and Rob walked in yesterday morning, there was a few deer in here, but never had any incidents. It was definitely getting cold, like. Now when you're just sitting around, chilling, it's definitely cold. So now you wait. I'm going to get this food and the drink, because I'm waffling loads of crap, and it's getting cold. Right, well, it's now, um... 25 to 4. So I'm, the sun's going to go down soon, so I'm going to start getting um, some fire going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start scraping as much of this silver birch as I can so I can get a nice fire started. I'm trying not to let the wind blow it all away. Fingers crossed. I'm trying to get as much as we can. Because the more you've got, the better it is. Can you see? I'm sure put you there. I'll put the camera down a bit. I'll tell you what, just pause you. Okay then, so back again. But anyway, more scraping. I'm going to scrape down to the resin, which is all the, the ready coloured stuff. I'm trying to go too far so you end up going right the way through the material, like that. And then just move on to another side. Try not to stab your fingers, like I always seem to do. And try not to lose all your bits of swell when you're moving it around. Because it's very important that you keep them, otherwise you're not going to have any for your fire. So just work on a little section at a time, and you get some nice little shavings like that, that's lovely. Oh that's lovely that Jimmy, that's bloody lovely that mate. Anyway, have a look at this while I'm scraping. As you can see, the sun is going down. Hence, we're going to get the fire on. I've got plenty of wood to get us all the way through until I want to go to bed. Because I've got absolutely tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Do you think that might be enough? Okie dokie. So, the camera's rolling. Yeah. Let's get some sparks going. There we go. Now what I've got this time is a little bit of dry grass. Well, I think it's dry. And then we've got some little twigs to put on top of the dry grass. If they don't all stand up over, and hopefully this gets going. Don't need them bits on. Now we're going to get a fire.
think that grass might be damp like maybe it's not but uh, tell you what let's get some of that off the fire get it on the tops Fire going down the bottom end, smooth me fire rod, me knife so I don't lose them in the fire. Fingers crossed we'll get this fire going now. Try not to smother it. Come on. Exactly in the centre of the fire pit light, but it's a fire. Right, well, good evening everybody. It's now five o'clock, uh, so I'm now in night mode. Obviously, as you can see, it's gone dark. I've got a few lights on around this light just to make it better for you to see us. I've got a lovely fire going now. I've been washed, changed. I've actually put me long john bottoms on tonight to see if that makes a difference and I'll tell you what, wow, what a difference just a single pair of long john bottoms can do for you. And uh, I've got me, me big jacket on now underneath this one. So, I've only got two Jack Daniels left because I only brought two out for each night but I've just been taking my time enjoying the ambience of the fire and the woods and Obviously, I have background noises of metros and aeroplanes and cars and bikes and all sorts of crap like. But I'm in the woods and I'm enjoying myself. I'm not sat at home watching Coronation Street or Emma Dale or that other stupid programme. But anyway, it's times like this when I'm relaxing and I think, I wish I brought more alcohol. <laughs> so... Me task I was going to do with carving a spoon, I've sacked it. Um, the wood's just no good that I prepped, and um, it's it's full of knots and everything. So I've just scrapped that, and I thought I'm just going to sit and chill like I did last night because I really enjoyed it. I'm going to have me tea about seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. Um, I think eating now is just too early considering I've not long had me dinner. I've got some snacks at my side here to eat in anyway in this bag, which I'll just snack on them. It's a trail mix and I've got trail mix, jelly beans, and I've got a couple of chocolate bars still, I think. So brought plenty of crap with us this week. So anyway, cheers everybody. So, what have you been up to? If any has been out camping um, or just doing some sort of outdoor activities at all. Um, if you have, let us know in the comments. Be interesting to see what other people are up to. So, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be out next week late because I've just had two nights out this week and a night out last week. I might take a week off next week. We'll see how it goes. I have got a kind of bit of things to do in the house like so I've got a very understandable and a very lovable wife because I was only expecting to come for a day camp to, uh, yesterday to be honest not two nights out so if you're watching Shaz she has darling she's a good egg a good egg a good lass a good wife Right, hi everybody. I feel like I'm in a floodlit 
football stadium. I've got that many lights on the go. I've got my head torch hanging up. I've got them out, I've got them up. That one's not too good. But anyway, I fell asleep. It's nearly eight o'clock at night. So about 20 minutes ago, I woke up. I put my tatties on, sliced them up in little, little bits like, and they're done. But what I done was, I've added some of this aromatic, aromat, sorry, aromat, not aromatic, aromat. And uh, what a game changer this stuff is. Just sprinkle it on everything. Um, I'm gonna buy a tub just for in the house itself. But yeah, let's just take, I've, I've made like a hangman's loose. <laughs> So, so I can hang me pot up and change the change the thing on it like so I'm just gonna put that on there for now so I know where it is and it doesn't end up in the fire so yeah water's nearly nearly gone like but I love boiled potatoes me I could just make a big pan of boiled potatoes and just sit there and eat them with loads of salt on and that lovely Mm. Oh, that stuff makes a hell of a difference, like, it does. It makes it go from being bland to taste, having a taste on it. But anyway, this is just a little snack for now, and anyway, I'm going to save me other meal for later on. I don't know why I looked over there, I think it's just because I can see the farmer's lights. Um, I've got a, a meal that I got sent by the Cheshire Wanderer, which is Mike. Um, I've Who's it from again? Um, I keep for some daft reason the fat butcher keeps coming at my head, but no, it's not that. Um, I'll put the name of the the company up on the screen. I think I did this the last time when I had that the steak stuff. But anyway, I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to sit and eat these. I'm going to listen to a couple of tunes. I'm going to have a drink of Jack Daniels. I'm on my last one. And uh, I'll bring this back a bit later on when I've got my next meal on the go. So before I went to sleep, I had um, some trail mix, a chocolate bar, uh, spicy pepperoni, and what else did I have? Oh, I a couple of handfuls of jelly beans. And then I, I just I must have just fell asleep in front of the fire because I was so relaxed, you know. Um, it's been such a chilled out day of the day, it's been amazing. And I've really, really enjoyed myself being out for the uh, two nights. Well, I've got about half a day left tomorrow. Obviously the rest of the night as well, it's only eight o'clock-ish. And uh, yeah, happy days. I'm just really lack relaxed. I've, I've never felt so relaxed in my whole life. It was a bit like um, when I come out and done the hot tempt. Just the night time, just chillaxing and not having to worry about building stuff and things like that but anyway I'm gonna get these tatties down my neck and I'll speak to you later mm -hmm. finger looking good Right, well, it's that time again, another food session at 20 to 10 at night. <laughs> so, it's been boiling away for quite a while now, this, this um, boil in the bag. So I'm just going to take my hook off, put that down on there, take the lid off. And we're going to get this out. And this is from the Steak Detective. That is the name of the company that does these meals. All right. Um, it's a bit like an army ration pack, except the food in it seems a lot nicer. I think I'm gonna be ordering some stuff from here. The Steak Detective, they do a lot of different types of things like foods and um, they do sauces and all sorts of stuff. 
So if I can find a link for that for the website, I'll put it up on the description. Okay, but uh, first of all, let's just get me a little rag, put that underneath just so I don't burn my hand. I'll put me spork down for now. Let me neck. Oh, I don't need a neck knife to work. It's got one of them rips, man. I normally rip these on the on the side, like. Oh, instantly it smells really nice like and this one is meatballs and pasta and I tell you what it looks chunky as hell as well right and it, it smells bloody lovely let's put my knife away so I'll move a little bit closer so you can see, well hopefully you can see why the steam coming out, but that's my initial first fork load. Look at that, there's like four meatballs there in one go. Um, it, it looks absolutely lovely and there's absolutely tons of meatballs in like. Um, hopefully I'm not going to burn my mouth off. But anyway, I'll sit back down. Oh, the heat off that fire is amazing. Anyway. Mmm, oh, that's a good temperature that. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is lovely that like. That feels, it, it tastes nice and fresh that. Oh, flavours are amazing. Yeah, Um. I definitely, I would definitely say that these are tasting a bit better than the ration packs, all my ration packs like, to be quite honest. Looks like it's got loads of stuff in it. What's that, my head torch just went brighter. Um, yeah, there's there's tons of meatballs in, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna get this down my neck, and I'm gonna polish it off with the rest of me Jack Daniels. It's, it's getting nearish 10 o'clock now. And then I'll be letting the fire die down a bit. This is going to be the last bit of footage for tonight. So uh, if you've watched so far, thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Everybody. As you can see, it's uh, cold and foggy this morning. It's about two degrees. I'm absolutely freezing since I've got out my dust bag. But as you can see, uh, uh, a nice bit of uh, coals on the fire. So I'm just going to brush them over now and get to the good stuff underneath. And as you can see, I hope you can see from there that there's absolutely loads of coals there and I can feel the heat coming through already. That's happy days like, happy days indeed. So, I'm just going to get the bellow of the day. Not, I'm not going to use the, um, the blower things, I can't find it, I can't remember for it. It's a dance art lover like. It's a really bloody mess, doesn't it? Anyway, I get some twigs, bits and pieces, push them down on the whip. <coughs> and then we'll get the fire going again.
just a fire. You can see it. It's burning underneath. It's just not making its way up. Catch, fuel catch, so there's plenty of heat there. It's warped out. was a, an entertaining night. I've never ate so much in my life. I'm going to move out the way of this smoke. Oh, because it's doing me now. My red, I'm going to breathe. Oh. oh, hey. Right, well, she's a bit of a smoke out of the small and like, because everything's a little bit damp. But we've got flames there. It'll, it'll work its way through. As you can see, it's starting to build up there now. Once it builds up, the smoke will disappear. So I, it was a, um, it was a very feastful night last night. I just think I never stopped eating all night. Just snacks and different bits and pieces. Mind you, I could have not done with another Jack Daniels like. But I enjoyed myself. Uh, singing and dancing and eating and just being crazy with one at nature <laughs> but this morning i'm going to have some porridge and i'm going to have some trail mixing with it and i'm going to have i'm, I'm debating whether i have a cup of tea or a cup of hot chocolate because i forgot to have my hot chocolate before i went to bed last night but i um it's been a cracking two days away, two nights out, three days, this is my third day. So I get home for about two o'clock this afternoon, get in, dump my kit, get sorted, and that'll be it, like. So I'm just a bit gutted that the wood wasn't good enough to sit there and last night and carve with, but I fell asleep in any way, didn't I? About five o'clock, six o'clock or something, I fell asleep for an hour. So that's how relaxed I was. And anyway, let's get out this smoke. Yeah. I slid slightly last night in my bed and ended up down the bottom end there. Um, but other than that, like, happy days, like, that was nice. When I walked, every time I walked up, I had a, a mint view looking down the bottom there and then all the way around to my front, which was nice. Um, I always like to have a view when I wake up. So, oh, there's no better than looking out at that, is there? As you can see, the sun's starting to arise, starting to arise, starting to arrive. So hopefully that'll disperse the fog. And uh, yeah, happy days. I'm not going to do a time lapse this morning of the sunrise. I got one yesterday. So anyway, I'm going to get away. I'm going to make myself brew some porridge. I'm not going to bore you with that. I need porridge and a cup of tea. So anyway, see you all in a bit, because my fire's gone.
Okay then, so as you can see, leave no trace. Everything has been disposed of. The fire has been covered in water, as you can see. Uh, I've done this about three or four times with two bottles each time. So it's well and truly out, dug up, covered over with loads of soil. Uh, the camping area has been totally cleaned up and all the leaves and that put on it. There's no bits of wood getting stacked anywhere because there's some numpty just coming into the woods and burning it up against trees and that in any way. So everything's being taken away, dismantled and dispersed to the four corners of the wood. Okay, so. And anyway, that's been a cracking 48 hours camp out again. Two different types of shelters. Met up with Rob from the Geordie Wanderer and uh, he spent a few hours up in the woods doing his own little thing, making a video. So don't forget, go and check out his link below for his channel. He's also on Instagram as well, post some kind of photographs on there, there as well. Um, I'll try and put the link for that in the description as well. Yeah, so in any way, I fully enjoyed myself. It's been a fantastic 48 hours and I'm looking forward to my next adventure out. I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully Rooney will be back on the, on the scene again, out camping. And you never know, we might have somebody else come out over. But in any way, thank you very much everybody for watching. It's uh, a pleasure to do the videos for years. There's a lot of people out there that enjoy watching them. So once again, thank you for your support. It's highly, highly appreciated. Don't forget, please like, comment and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Check out all the links below, please. Uh, there's Instagram uh, links, Facebook links, all sorts of links there for you. All right, and if I've mentioned any channels, their channels will be there as well. And anyway, that's enough waffling from me. And I'll catch you on the next one.